We understand that this issue can be frustrating for many owners. However, we offer detailed information and specific training to help you. Before we move on with this video, you need to grab the free dog training secrets guide in which I have disclosed the deepest dog training secrets that professional dog trainers don't want you to know about. These training secrets would help you have a well-behaved, super intelligent, smart and obedient dog without spending hours in training him, her. Link to the free, secret training technique, guide is in the description below. The Yorkshire Terrier is a dog of fairly high intelligence and one which aims to please its owners. This means that with some guidance, you can have a calmer and more, at peace, dog. With some understanding of why your dog barks, an owner can then take steps to control excessive barking. Types of Yorkie barking and what your dog is trying to tell you. Barking in a low tone. This is a dog's way of warning that they are perceiving a danger or a change in the environment which they feel may be a threat. A bark with a low tone, is a Yorkie trying to say, I see something new, it may be a danger. A dog will also bark in a low tone if there is a change to its normal circumstances. Some Yorkies are very sensitive and will bark if they hear a flock of birds, wind chimes, a loud car on the street, etc. High pitched. This is an attention getting behavior. A Yorkie will bark with a high tone when trying to communicate a need such as wanting to go outside or wanting to play. Howling. When a dog howls, this the noise of a dog communicating to another dog. Dogs can sense other dogs, even if they are not in view. Growling. This is a warning. This usually follows a low-toned bark, warning of possible danger. The bark will turn into a growl if a person, animal or object such as a car comes too close to what your Yorkie considers to be their territory. Whining. This is a dog's vocalization of being in emotional distress. A Yorkie may whine when left alone, missing its owner or confined when they want to be running free. Whining can also indicate that a dog is in pain, this would be in conjunction with wanting to lay alone and not wanting to be touched. In cases of severe pain, he or she may become aggressive, as everything seems to be a threat when the dog is feeling vulnerable. Whimpering. This is similar to whining. A puppy will usually whimper and an adult Yorkie will whine. This means that the dog is in distress. They are sad, hurting or lonely. Moaning. While a human may moan if they have an injury, a dog will usually have a low tone moan when they are feeling happy. A Yorkie will most often moan if they are having their tummy rubbed, having their ears touched or another spot on their body that is ticklish. Yelping. This is quick, high-pitched noise that is a clear fast indication that the Yorkie has been injured. A yelp will be much faster and higher than the high-pitched, attention-getting bark. A yelp from a dog is let out the instant that dog feels pain. If your Yorkie jumps and hurts their leg or steps on a thorn, you will hear a yelp. Many will yelp and then in just a few seconds, the most intense pain will be gone and the yelping stops. Therefore, yelps are usually loud and short. For example, dogs with luxating patellas often yelp when the leg moves the socket out of place and then do not yelp even as they walk around with a leg not properly in its socket. Owners should investigate the reason for any yelp. Training for Yorkie Barking Issues 1. Begin by asking a friend or family member to help out. 2. At a random time, have your helper ring the doorbell, ask them to ring it one time, every 10 seconds until you open the door. 3. When your Yorkie barks, command your Yorkie to sit. 4. Talk in a quiet, calm tone, telling your Yorkie, it is okay, or words to let your dog know that you are relaxed and there is no immediate danger. 5. Whenever your Yorkie stops barking for at least 5 seconds, immediately, give great praise, pat them and offer a small yummy treat. 6. Whenever your Yorkie begins to bark, stand still beside your dog and completely ignore him. Do not pat your dog to calm them down and do not speak. Your goal is to show your Yorkie that barking behavior equals zero attention, no treats, no praise and that life is just not as fun when they are barking. 7. As the doorbell is ringing every 10 seconds, as soon as your Yorkie does not bark and calmly sits and your dog eventually will, as he or she realizes that sitting nicely prays and a yummy treat. Then you should open the door. Greet your helper in a happy, calm tone and have your helper then pat your Yorkie and offer a small treat. 
Do you want to have a well-behaved, obedient and calm pet dog without spending hours in training him? Check out the first link in the description and download the Secret Training Technique Guide absolutely free. It is available for free only for a limited period of time. Thanks for watching the video. Comment below if you liked the video. Please subscribe to the Little Paws Training channel if you are serious about training and grooming your dog. Also, join our Facebook group where you get all the solutions to your daily doggy problems.